Well, it's a fact that if you ride long enough and you ride hard enough, sooner or later, you're gonna to have to replace the front fork on your, on your e-bike. Uh, or maybe you just wanna to upgrade to a, a front fork that has suspension or one that has better suspension. And that's what this video is all about. Well, it's not a good day to be riding, but it's a great day to finish the upgrades on the MagiCycle. In a previous video, I did the upgrade to the hydraulic brakes, which made a huge difference, and I got to try them in the mountains and uh, on uh, steep roads and hills, out on the dirt, and the hydraulic brakes were a great improvement. Today, we're gonna talk about the uh, larger battery, and it's just a snap-in battery. We'll talk about that a little bit, but I, mainly I wanna put on the hydraulic front fork. So let's get to it. This is the 20 amp hour battery. This is the original 15 and the exterior dimensions are a little different and let's test the weight and see what they weigh. Okay, the original battery weighs about, uh, about nine pounds and the new battery, the 20 amp hour battery weighs uh, almost 11. They're both exactly the same length and uh, this battery, the original battery, is three and a half inches uh, high this way, and this one is three and three quarters. So the only difference between the two batteries besides this one being a little heavier is this one is also a quarter of an inch higher. That's it. And the larger battery just snaps right in just like the uh, original did. So no problem there. Now let's get into doing the front fork. Um, I need to remove the fender. Well, I just removed the fender, it was really easy. One bolt on top, one on either side. And I need to move these fender mounting brackets over to the new fork. Next is to remove the wheel. Fairly straightforward. And then I need to remove the brake caliper and unclip it up here, the cable. There's just two um, Allen head bolts holding it on. And of course they've got Loctite on them, so they're gonna unscrew a little hard, but we'll be sure and put some Loctite on them when we put them back together again. Next, we need to remove the handlebars and the front fork by loosening these two bolts here and the, and the bolt that runs down the center up here. There we go. Okay, next there's a small ring right here that needs to get, needs to get popped up and then this fork will drop right out. And there we go. There's some ball, a ring of ball bearings up there, which I'm going to clean up. And these are the two pieces that came off of the uh, fork when I, sl when I slid it out. There's also a ring of ball bearings around the bottom side. I'll be cleaning, they just come right out with your finger. And I'm going to clean those up, re-grease them, and put those back up in here also. First, I'm going to take off this plastic part here. And then I'm going to get a screwdriver on here. I'm going to gently start moving this bearing race up off of this old fork so I can slide it down onto the new one. Okay, by taking a really thin tipped uh, flat screwdriver, I was able to pop this up off of here. And now I got to work it up to the top. See how that goes. Oh, once I got it off the bottom, where it was seated down here, now it's coming off easily. I'll clean that up and install that on the new one. I'm just gonna tap this bearing race down just lightly. A little bronze drift here to it won't damage anything. I'm 
You could just use a hardwood dowel or something to do what I just did. Just wanted to make sure that was down all the way. Just a light taps. This piece of plastic here went on top. And the ring was up. And down it goes like that. Putting on some new grease. Now these aren't wheel bearings, so this is not critical. This is just your steering. So it's not like they're gonna burn up on you or anything like that. So I'm just putting more grease on them. They only go one way, but it'll be obvious when you see it, which way that is. They won't go the wrong way. Everything is all back together except for I'm replacing that star nut. That is, they call, I didn't know the name earlier, that's a star nut. And there's a special tool to put this in the fork, and that's not very expensive. It's about a $15 or $16 tool. And if you're replacing the front fork, it would be a good idea for you to have the tool to insert a star nut. And that's it. All right. Okay, I'll just snug this down for now. Straighten it out when I get the uh, bike on the ground again. Front tire back on. I'll seat that down better when I get the bike back on the ground. All right, next I'm going to remount the brake caliper. What I'm doing is putting the bolts down all the way and then backing them off till they're loose again because I want to use the brake uh, lever to center the brake up itself. Okay, I'm making it loose so this can move. Now I'm going to reach up with my left hand and squeeze the brake lever. I'm going to jiggle this around a little bit and that centered this on the disc. There, so it's not making any noise, but the brake locks up just right. Front fender back on. Okay, it's done. And the only special tool I needed was this star nut tool. And uh, you don't really need it, need it, but it sure made it easy to put that star nut in the, in the front fork. So if you're um, repairing Placing your front fork for repair, or if you're just upgrading your front fork, it's really simple. It didn't take very long, and um, that's how you do it. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like and share, and we'll see you around.